Hello and welcome back to another amazing Kenway video. Yeah. Anyway, uh, today I'll be focusing on um, how to get mobs to spawn above the the recent uh, sky cap. So um, there aren't any clouds around here, but according to my Y coordinates, it is right about at the two one twenty eight. Uh, this used to be the the sky cap until they uh, rose it, um, and there are a few difficulties on having mobs to spawn this high. So let me go. Um, as you saw, I just turned it to midnight, and I also turned um, it from peaceful to <laughs> to uh, easy. Uh, it doesn't matter what difficulty any difficulty would do, and please ignore the the lava everywhere I, f I found that easy easier to um to light all this crap up so um on to the first part of it as you see uh there are two platforms over here where you have monsters spawning and uh as you see over here we have the the one i was just standing on y coordinate 128 now this is the very last area where you can have mobs spawn normally and proof is in the pudding. Uh, these guys are spawning normally, no problem. Okay, so as you see, I have one step up, one two nine, and there are there are no mobs here at all, and there will never be any mobs that will spawn in here ever, ever. And uh, we fixed this by putting a roof over it. Kind of weird, but it works. And I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, this is in the coding. I don't know if it serves a purpose, you know, whatever, doesn't matter, it works. And as you see by these little um, coatings right here, you have blue, then green, lime, and red. And they signify 5, 10, and 15. So you see this is 17 blocks high. Now, um, as you can see right here, I'm at 129, the same Y coordinate as it was over here, except this is only 16 blocks high for the roof, and there's nothing spawning there. So, that one extra little block above the ceiling allows them to spawn in this area. So, let me go ahead and see if I can light this up so these guys won't spawn anymore and eat up my my mob resources over here. Um, right. Bra. Get out of the way. Okay, and on to the the next. And um, there is a reason why I'm going up here. There is a difference, and it's not what you would think it would be. Uh, naturally, I would think the higher you go, the higher your ceiling would need to be for mobs to spawn. But strangely enough, that is not the case. The higher you go, the less uh, ceiling you need. Very strange. I don't know why that is, but I want to show that to you guys. I went through the trouble of building these little platforms, and there you go. You start to see uh, the first little guy start to spawn on this platform here. Now, this platform, Y coordinate, is 196. Okay, so 196, and you have, what, 10... 14 blocks high. Now the one over here, you can see that there there were no torches on it, and I don't need to put any because no mobs will ever spawn here. As you see, there are 13 blocks for the roof, nothing spawning. Over here, we have Y coordinates 192, 192, and it is 10, 14 again. So 192 is quite the same as 196 I think that was 196 and this Y coordinate is 196 same as this one so as you see even though they have a difference in height they do not have a difference in the required ceiling height for mobs to spawn in that area okay so that said what about the nether <laughs> so um, if you have seen my other videos there is, there are ways of getting above the nether using ender pearls without um, having to break the the ceiling block. Now, for 
lack of time in, in this video since I, I'm primarily focusing it on these little spawning pads I won't be including that if you want to check out my other videos or just Google it I'm, or YouTube it I'm sure you'll find um, how to do that little trick with ender pearls now we are in the nether and we are on these little spawning pads and as you see they are already starting to spawn little creatures of, of mayhem now I'm gonna go down Y coordinate 215 now here we have this little um, this little height thing and uh, the ceiling is what 10 12 over here you have it 10 15 and you see monsters are both spawning underneath that one but this one this one is 10 exactly and nothing is spawning on there and that is because for that height uh, for this Y coordinate of 1 uh, sorry, 215, it needs at least 12, as you see for that one. 10, 12. Over here, if I can even get mobs to spawn on here, will they? No, they won't. Um, as you see, this is 10, same as over there. I'm um, pretty sure this is the same. Yep, 215 for the Y coordinate, and this is 11. So it needs 12 for mobs, mobs to spawn. You can go higher, as shown over here with 15, but uh, for that height, for the Y coordinate 215, you will need at least 12. Now over here, uh, same thing. Uh, it's illustrating that uh, with a ceiling of 10 blocks high, you cannot get anything to spawn at Y coordinate 215. Now down here, we have a little difference. Uh, we have 11 and 13. I'm not sure why I put that double there, but we're a little bit lower. We have uh, 1... 96 and over here is this the same 196 yeah 196 so this is likewise comparative to um in the overworld where we had those uh those two different um higher platforms and we needed um i don't remember off the top of my head i think it was 14 for it to be high i think that that was it so uh in theory this one should have mobs spawning on top of it because it has 14 a ceiling of 14 and there they go there they go and this one should not because I have 11 and 13 high ceilings um, and there's a ghast over there I don't like ghast go away go away yes close stop moving there we go okay so and that is pretty much the the end of it i hope you um learned a bit from this and if you are ever building above the sky cap at least now you know why your mob spawner is not working or on the other side if you want to build an island in the sky and you're worried about mobs and you don't want to have to put lanterns all over the freaking place you can go ahead and put it above uh, those coordinates and put roofs that are no higher than the requirement for mobs to spawn. Therefore, you can make a, a completely mob-proof place uh, without the the need for, for lights or anything. Um, a couple downsides are that uh, you can't put it super, super high. There is a, a limit to how, how high you can put it. Um, but I think I think that's pretty much it. So, bah. another thing that I wanted to show you really fast is uh, once you do get up here, um, I failed to note this in my previous videos. Uh, when you do use the Ender Pearl trick, uh, here is proof that you can get back through another pro portal that is above the ceiling. Bam. I'm back. Uh, same nether portal that I had before. Um, where are my platforms? There they are. Alright, so this concludes my tutorial on how to get mobs to spawn with the new height limit. It does give challenges now that they can't spawn under normal conditions. However, with the new roof system, you can get that to be a reality. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, enjoy Minecraft.